John Robertson will tell anyone willing to listen that Darren Mackey will score goals for Cali Thistle. The only one disagreeing with him yesterday was Ludovic Roy, the air keeper with the first of many saves from the on-loan Aberdeen man. As a former striker, Robbo will tell you you have to be in position to miss them. Mackey was definitely there and missed them all right. Put it down to a lack of match practice and fortunately for Mackey, he's in the right company to learn how to finish, not only from Robbo himself, but also from the deadly Paul Ritchie. Mackey made it, Ritchie finished it in style. He doesn't score many tap-ins, this another quality goal. Cali dominated the first half and might have secured the points before the half-time cuppa. If he'd scored here, Richie might have celebrated with something stronger than tea. It was, though, another brilliant save from Roy, who was keeping his side in the game. Even Campbell Money admitted his side could have been buried by the Cali onslaught. Roy and Mackey continued their personal duel into the second half. And Mackey could be excused for taking it personally by now. But such is the delicate nature of a one-goal lead, Cali's fragile advantage was shattered. Jimmy Doyle was given a window of opportunity and proved a pain in the grass as Ayr made it 1-1. Mark Brown's clearance not decisive enough. Doyle knew just about enough about it to celebrate. And then it was time for Cali to press the self-destruct button. Andy Ferguson's eyes must have lit up when he was presented with a golden opportunity to give Ayr the lead. His shot saving recriminations reverberating around the home side. And Ayr were to pay for that miss with nine minutes remaining. David Bingham allowed a free header. And Cali was the lead they deserved. Robbing salt into the wounds, Ayr will be without Mark Campbell for next week's game at least, after he led with the elbow. Mike McCurry making sure there would be no flare-up. Stuart Golabek feeling the full force. Campbell shown red. Cali now within one point of leaders Clyde. What we had to do today was win, and we won it. And you know, the, the only disappointing aspect, and it was disappointing, was that we, we didn't score more goals. In the second half, we did better than the first half, which wouldn't have been difficult, to be honest with you. I thought we were absolutely appalling in the first half. Um, there could have been more than one behind, uh, but the second half was better. We have no doubt Darren Mackey will score goals. He's a terrific threat. He's exceptionally quick, he's coming in, he's settled down really well, he's enjoying his, his football, he's enjoying the training, and he's enjoying the matches, and yay, OK, he, he missed a few chances today, but Darren Mackey will score goals.